good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back to this uh, monday morning monday morning with business coach meloy <clears throat> i hope you have been having a fantastic january and today uh, a lot of part of this country is celebrating the birthday of uh, netaji subhash chandra bose one of our greatest leaders this country has ever seen now linking him or linking his persona to an entrepreneur has always been a challenge but today let's speak about something which is about him and what is the similarity between him and an entrepreneur so today we are on day 27 and last week we were we spoke very something on a very similar topic and that is for leadership and we said that yes leadership can be learned while there could be some leadership capabilities within a person but leadership certainly can can be learned and somebody who tells me that i cannot become successful because i don't know the art of leadership my humble submission to that person is learn the leadership learn the art of leadership because that's the only thing that is going to keep you in stead over the la- next 5 10 15 20 25 25 years that you will be in this interesting role of an entrepreneur we shared the seven greatest leadership lessons that i had learned throughout my career and you could obviously go back and look at them on the youtube channels or on our website but if you have any struggle getting to them getting to the recordings please let me know please let us know uh through a message on on the facebook live or on a whatsapp and somebody from my team will uh, share the link with you but look at today let's continue on this 27th uh, episode of the life and business transformation three more to go after this and then we start something very very interesting let's continue with leadership let's accept something employees clients circumstances around us will not always or shall i say most of the times not be as per as what we want things will be top to turvy but as an entrepreneur we always need to keep our chin up in the face of all adversities because what we can control is the reaction that we bring on to a circumstance not what the circumstance is doing to you and at some point in time if you're getting overawed by the circumstances then obviously we will be in a perennial uh, state of despair uh, demotivation and asking this question why is it happening to me it's happening to everybody you look at any entrepreneur around us it's happening to everybody because the world is a very very uncertain place and that's what i'm going to link up with 23rd of january the birthday of netaji subhash chandra bose to an entrepreneur the power or the importance of having a personal brand everybody knows the importance of a, a good branding when it comes to your business but what about building that personal brand that's associated with you as an individual never ever underestimate the power of the personal branding and when done right it can be your most valuable asset so what is personal branding and i keep on saying this the personal branding your personal branding is what people talk about you when you're not in the room when you're in the room people may be laughing dancing smiling thing or going gaga all over you but what do people talk to you about talk about you when you are not in the room personal branding is all about building that reputation creating that image of yourself for the outside world and then using that image to market yourself as an as an um, individual essentially your personal brand is a story that's told when you're not in the room it may feel a bit uncomfortable to think of you as a brand but the truth is already all of us have a personal brand the question that i'm asking you is have you controlled what you would want to communicate to the external world are you in control of your brand like you're in control of your product or your service or 
you have allowed people to perceive your you about the, the the way they want to so there could be multiple things one what does people talk about your work what adjectives would people use when they're describing you are they mostly positive or critical how is your story being told online are people watching you and creating that image of themselves of yourself in their mind so when you meet an unknown person they say oh yes mr xyz or miss xyz i met you i've seen you and i love what you're doing that is the power of personal brand now you have a choice you have a choice to actively manage the brand that like you're doing for your product or service or you can leave it to chance building a personal brand intentionally will allow you to tell the story as you would want it should allow you to establish yourself as a leader as an as an expert in your field and use that to connect to your customers there's some great characters in the world of pers- world of business who are larger than life they've mastered the art of personal brand you may like like them you may not like them but they've mastered the art of personal branding and they know exactly who they are and what makes them unique a great example is elon musk we know what is happening with twitter but he is one of the experts in personal branding who successfully brands himself as a brash business owner who tells it like it is and isn't afraid of self promotion or voicing his opinions loud and clear a similar personality is the ex president of the united states donald trump and then there's somebody who you we can relate to more uh, easily mr ratan tata each one of them whether it's a elon musk or a donald trump or ratan tata who's absolutely opposite from elon musk or donald trump but all of them are individual personal brands and examples of outstanding personal brands are all around us whether it's the opera jimpre richard branson beyonce gordon ramsay it's all around us we just have to look around and 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 see indians relate to cricket so much and if you have seen the last two uh, successful captains mahendra singh dhoni and virat kohli different personal brand you may like them you may hate them but they are what they are and they're consciously building that personal brand so let's look at some steps of building a personal brand for for business owners and entrepreneurs if you are an entrepreneur or a business owner at this point in time you should all you should be focusing or you should also already have been building your personal brand along with your organization brand your brand strategy will include your overall purpose your value system the benefit that you stand for and how you're different from competition your tangibility is in terms of logos the colors the typography found throughout consistently in your material if you look at richard branson has 11.3 million followers on twitter and compare that to the twitter account of virgin atlantic which is around 500000 virgin galactic which is about 170 or 1000 and virgin media which is about 200000 He is way, way ahead of his business, and he declares on his profile: "He's the adventurer, he's the philanthropist, and a troublemaker who turns, who believes in turning reality uh, ideas into reality." So that is the persona. That is the purpose of the brand. The second, take control of your PI, P-I-E, your performance, your image, and your exposure. all three pieces of your professional pie need to work in your favor if you want your personal brand to succeed performance obviously is fundamental you need to deliver quality results in your work image is what about what people think about you it is your personal brand but the final piece exposure is what what is making sure that people know who you are and what you stand for performance very critical your image very critical you may be great in your performance but your image could could be a weak image somebody who gets run over all the time somebody who's bending backward somebody who is uh, non receptive to new ideas somebody who doesn't stick to his uh, time commitments 
while your performance could be great your i your individuality could be weak and when the individuality is weak your exposure could be negative the good work is important you may not be the greatest but you have to have a balance between the p and the i and the e we have seen all around us how good product good services good performance take a person to great height while great performance need not take a person to decent height it's all about the i and the e third find your brand story and create your brand framework before you start telling your story you need to work out what that story will be what you want uh, to be known for we built our brand story and thanks to my marketing uh, agency who helped me build that brand story that here is somebody who is ready to impact or is willing to impact the life of 500 business owners annually it's not about selling it's about your brand story and the impact that you would want to have it's important that you have a deep understanding of the brand personality and the brand identity and your everything that you do with your pi should resonate with this you cannot be thinking about money 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 all the time we are we are, we are entrepreneurs we think about money all the time but we cannot be thinking about money all the time in all the circumstances when you are in the giving mode if it doesn't resonate with you don't do it so it has a few elements there's a brand purpose which we spoke about the why and i always go back to the book of simon sinek start with the why why did you get up in the morning and go to work your core values it's more about what your core values are and what your organization values are people your employees may not resonate with those values all that all the employees all the time that is okay that is okay because they have a different uh, brand identity and they have a different brand per, uh, persona but what do you stand for the brand benefit what is it that somebody get when they associate with a brand called maloy chakram i am the brand my organization beyond red ocean consulting is the secondary brand but i am the brand and that brand needs to get established and finally the tangible branding elements what do my what will be my signature look like consistently all the time what will my logo look like what is it communicating how is it placed how is it placed when in your in your communication tools everything should be consistent clear and uh, receptive to people remember the pie your brand for personal brand should translate into what people perceive about you because you would want to control the brand communication i may be thinking something else if my people think if my clients think something else then my brand persona is inconsistent i am a firm believer in telling people what you think especially your employees if it's positive tell them openly because that helps you build the brand persona your your building of your brand persona for a young entrepreneur is the most important within your organization because if your employees don't resonate with your brand persona the organization will all be in uh, will have inconsistent result if you think somebody is doing a great job in your organization go and tell them if you appreciate it something others have done let them know however we do not do this as often as we should people around us are doing some fabulous work go and tell them go and appreciate them because these are the people even if they're performing at 50% of the capacity are is helping you build your organization brand go and appreciate while it may be uncomfortable for some people to express emotions in this way we live in the age of modern technology this means we have multiple ways of communicating with people that should help even if it's a less awkward pick up the phone in the evening when you're going home ladies and gentlemen as entrepreneurs and send some thank you messages to people who have made a difference to you 
in that day it could be your employees it could be your clients it could be your vendors it could be your family members keep saying thank you the simple things to let them know that they are special and to make them feel appreciated require little effort on your part but that might make a big difference in your life this is how you build your brand persona this is what people start believing in you make people feel special we all have them reciprocate but you have a personal brand because you are an entrepreneur as an entrepreneur you have to walk through the thorns to achieve your goals that consistency is extremely critical do not ever underestimate the power of your personal brand because all of us have a personal brand never ever live in that assumption that people perceive you the way you want to be perceived you should be able to control that communication invest in yourself build the personal brand today when we look at when we think about subhash chandra bose netaji subhash chandra bose look at the consistency of imaging that most people will have about him and that is the power of the personal brand but before i close for today for business owners in and around kolkata we are doing our next business master class complimentary absolutely as usual it's on to build the ultimate business plan for 23 24 if you haven't registered do now the links will be put up here on this chat box on on the on the messaging box make the most uh, of this important day of your business for the year 23 24 27th of january Patel the Park at Park Street, eleven to one is what we are lining up for. But it will be ten thirty to one thirty to allow you to have networking, to allow you to have your Q and A session. Don't miss this opportunity because this will be the last business masterclass, of uh, uh, last business planning masterclass in Kolkata for twenty three twenty four. We did it one last week, uh, last month. This is the last one because by the end of January, if you do not have a clear goal set or where you want to go in in twenty three twenty four, the chances of you achieving those goals will be slightly lesser. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for keeping up with us. This is our forty eighth week. I'm told three more weeks to go before we before we uh, complete our anniversary of this Monday morning session. Three more weeks to go for this series of life and business transformation. After that, we will have a new series coming up. But we are going nowhere. We are going to be here every Monday morning, same place, same time, nine thirty a.m. Block your calendars for a fifteen-minute session with Business Coach Malloy. Have a great week. Have a great twenty-third January. Have a great twenty-sixth January. and i shall see you next week same place same time thank you and take care god bless you.